Hi Libra, happy Sunday. Welcome to your general weekly reading for the week of November 13th through the 19th. My name is Lori, also known as Simon, and this is my channel. Let's go ahead and get to your reading. We will take a look at the immediate past, the current situation, and the immediate future. Um, and we'll get some clarity um, at the end, as well as a moon card and a sacred destiny card. All right, I will be using Tarot of the Spirit World. This deck does not have reversals. Um, let's go ahead and get to your reading. Yeah, I love this deck. I really do. It really sings to me and speaks loudly to me. Okay, the overall energy for the reading is justice, to know the truth, and to know that justice does prevail always. And the undertone of the reading for the future is the King of Swords. Well, that's wonderful to know you're on top of everything. Let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate past. Um, we do know that you were diligently doing your work, you know, and, and staying focused on it. And you found it to be a very big undertaking, though. You weren't really sure of the depth of work that was going to be required of you and you thought you know that some things were being you know you were being lied to and things were being veiled and there was such a shadow over you that you weren't quite sure what to do anymore and so you started looking inwards and asking for that justice you did and I can see that you went inside to be alone for a while in the current situation because you have the hermit card here and they want you to know that it's okay. Your spiritual guides went with you. They went, retreated into your sanctuary with you to let, give you that respite that you needed in order to work things out. But they know now that with the Three of Swords, the Spirit is at, urging you to go ahead and participate again in your life and in the journey and to continue to, with your works and in this business endeavor that you're doing and to allow love and hope back into your life with the spirit and know that the temptations are gone you really are a good person you didn't do anything wrong you were acting on the knowledge that you had you didn't have any other knowledge to go on just that you were feeling within your heart and soul and the divine would like you to know that it's okay you don't have to wrestle with your demons anymore your decision making process is getting much better and the negativity is flowing away from you instead of towards you. And that is a great and beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and look at the future. Uh, the future with the Nine of Swords. Yes, we know you're very tired. We know you felt like you had to take it all on by yourself. And you just don't know how you continue. But the Spirit is reaching a hand out to you and asking you to please stand up. You know that scene in Lord of the Rings where... Who is it? Um, lady Galadriel is speaking with Frodo, the, the white lady, is, and she's reaching out her hand within dream time to wake up and continue the journey. Well, that's what spirit would like you to do now. They are reaching out to you, reaching out their hands, asking you to please take it and to know that everything's going to be okay. They know that the loss that you've suffered was devastating. We know that. But they want you to stand up now. And they want you to be okay for the rest of your life. And know that those lessons that you were taught and those things that you thought are gone, they're not gone. They're here within your heart and soul. And they will guide you always. And just to know that when you feel that little bit of sarcasm, when you feel that little bit of temptation, just to call the spirit down, anchor in your higher self, and just, you know, have a long hop, long hard talk with your heart so that you can make those good decisions again, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get some clarity. We're going to go ahead and clarify this nine back here. You were diligently doing your work, and then you thought it was too much of an undertaking, so you stopped. You thought that you were being lied to and cheated. You know, everything was veiled in front of you, so let's take a look, okay? Let's just see. Let's get some clarity on this. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when we travel in this life, when we start doing things and looking into things, as you're making progress, it will seem like you're being stopped on all fronts. 
but it's really because you're about to have a breakthrough and a half and the light is just going to fucking shine everywhere. You'll see. You'll see. Hopefully you already saw it. All right. So the hangman, the king of wands, and the devil. Yep. Yeah. Let go of your limiting beliefs, okay? Just let go of all of it. Everything is going to be okay. You, you know, you, you took some time to yourself. You started thinking about everything. You went through all your emotions and how you were feeling and your thoughts and your desires. And you realize that you just have to let go of your limiting beliefs in order to truly flourish within this world. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Hermit. See what you may have learned or what may have come to you during this time of self-reflection and inward introspection, so to speak. Let's go ahead and take a look. The Hermit. Yeah, I spent some I spent some 20 odd years alone. I know what it's like to be in Hermit, man. Don't stay there too long. It's hard to break out of. You know, get the knowledge you need. And then when the spirit asks, like it's asking you to come out and play again, it's time to come out and play and be successful. And don't worry so much. You acted in true accordance with your heart and soul and knowledge at the time. You let all that go now and continue on. The Empress, yes, hang in that Empress energy, that good and true energy. And know that justice will be served. Truly it will. All good and just things will come into your life. And then you can truly accept the offer that's coming in. Of this new, beautiful, beautiful relationship, working endeavor that you've got coming in. Be true to it. Be true to your heart and soul. And hang tight, okay? True justice. Act with integrity. Look within your heart and soul. And know that your choices are being made true. All right? You're acting with true integrity. That's all that matters. You're coming from your heart and soul in order to edify those in your life and lift them up and raise the vibration of the planet. You're not being wrong, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Nine of Swords. You were feeling like you had to do it all on your own. But they want you to know that this week you are not alone. Your ancestors are with you. Your spiritual guides are with you. Your fairies are with you. Everything that you've learned is still with you. Just look deep within your heart and know that you are going to make the right and true decisions, okay? All right, so here we have the Six of Pentacles where you're sharing your knowledge and your wealth. Always sharing. We have the Knight of Cups because of the offer that's coming in, and we want you to take it, okay? And then we have the Five of Pentacles. Remember to always share your wealth and to know that you're not alone. Look to those that need you, and, you know, and allow yourself to be needed. Please allow yourself to be needed and allow others to help you when you need it, all right? Let them reach out their hands, truly. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, once you do that, the Wheel of Fortune, it's all yours. It truly is. You just have to remember to stay thankful and to allow those limiting beliefs to go to the wayside now. And allow the Spirit to continue to guide you to the ways that are everlasting and true abundance within this life. All right, let's go ahead and get your Moon card. Yes, well, justice was the overall tone for the reading. It would make sense, right? Karmic justice coming to you. You know, it's going to be okay for all that you've been through, through all that you've done. Justice reigns supreme and love always wins. You remember that. Believe in the impossible. Yes, please. Always believe in the impossible, okay? I mean, we live in a realm of possibilities when we live for the divine and the ethereal realm. You know, we look at all things with love and true mastery and grace within our life, right? We want to master everything and we always want to be graceful and show kindness and compassion and forgiveness. I mean, it's a win-win situation. All right, let's see. Get a... Uh, really? Okay. I don't know. They didn't like where it was going to cut. That's really bizarre. It stopped me in my tracks. 
All right. There must be a certain card somebody wants out of here. Somebody that isn't a normal guide for me. So let's pay attention and see what comes out. Let's see. Release. Yes, whatever doubts you're having, whatever frustrations you're having, release them. Release them into the earth. Breathe the divine in and ground yourself. Let it go from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. And just give a jump to release of all your doubts and all your fears so that, you know, you can reach your true potential with the divine as you truly step in and claim your power. Because when you do that, when you release all the negativity and you claim your power and you live up to your potential, you truly will know inner peace, true inner peace that comes from loving the divine and sharing your truth with the world. And yeah, then just know that all kinds of opportunities are going to come your way as you continue to release and move forward, speaking your truth always and embracing exactly who you are. The more you become enlightened, the more you embrace it, and the more flexible you become. And the more flexible you become, the happier you're going to be. Truly, true happiness and true freedom are yours. Just step out and accept what's yours, please. Yeah, it's a solitude card. The next card is solitude. And we take that solitude when we look within ourselves with the divine, with our, you know, our angels, guides, spirits, and fairies, and our higher self. We take that moment of reflection and that solitude and we learn to work with it so that we can see how to raise our vibration even higher and to help those who come into our life. All right. I really hope you enjoyed the reading and that you found value in it. And if you did, please hit like, subscribe, and come back for more. I also do a daily reading. For the collective, for general guidance and mindset, come by and check them out if you'd like. All right, I wish you the very best in life. I truly do. Namaste.